Hi, I'm Rock and I'm a tour guide and this is just one of specialties of Salzburg, Austria. In this video I'll show you what to eat in Salzburg and drink obviously. Here they have some unique local dishes and some very, very old breweries and restaurants. In fact, Salzburg has the oldest restaurant in Europe that dates back to year 803. In this Salzburg travel video I'll show you typical Salzburg food and must-try Salzburg beer. Please smash the like button to help this video before we start eating and drinking in Salzburg. Beer culture has an important role in Salzburg since beer has been brewed here for more than 600 years. First commercial breweries in Salzburg were established at the end of the 14th century. In this place, beer has been brewed since 1621. This tavern and brewery is the largest one in Austria with five big halls and one room. But this place also has a huge outdoor beer garden where we started the video with 1400 seats under the shade of chestnut trees. They brew beer in accordance with the purity law from 1516 and it's made by hand of just malt, water, hops and yeast and it's completely free of preservatives. The beer is stored in typical wooden barrels and served in the jugs. Here you can also get traditional and regional dishes from various food stands and they mix very well with a nice beer. This is a wonderful experience. This is one of the most popular Salzburg souvenirs and it's definitely the most delicious one. It's called Mozart Kugel or Mozart chocolate ball and it's made out of layers of marzipan with pistachios, nougat and dark chocolate. You can find it all over Old Town. Mozart Kugel was invented in this shop in 1890 by local confectioner Paul Fürst. Because of its perfectly round shape it was very unusual at the time. To make a perfect round ball, each individual bonbon was placed on a small wooden stick before being dipped in chocolate. Fürst named his delicious invention after the most famous Salzburg son, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and this became an instant success. In 1905, Mozart Kugel even received a gold medal on the international exhibition in Paris. However, Fürst didn't patent this invention and soon other Salzburg cake shops began to sell similar products. Today, there are 13 different producers of Mozart Kugel. But only Fürst chocolate, which is warped in this silver foil, may be labeled as the original Salzburg Mozart Kugel. See, there is a little hump on the original Mozart Kugel. And the reason is they had to fill the hole from the wooden stick, so they put some extra chocolate on it. See? Extra chocolate. Mm. Very nice marzipan, chocolate, nougat, mmm, perfect blend. I see why it's so popular. This dish is traditionally cooked in cast iron pan so cheese can melt. It comes from wider mountainous region around Salzburg and is known as food for farmers. However, in Salzburg, Kastnocken are traditionally made with cheese called Bierkäse. This cheese is famous for its strong smell and mild flavors and it's produced in the nearby mountains. Cheese is made according to traditional recipe using fresh mountain farm milk. This food gave farmers a lot of energy 
to cope with hard physical work and it might be hard to digest it if you're not used to such heavy meals. That is why it's recommended to round off this meal with a shot of schnapps to ease digestion. Now look at our dessert. It is called Salzburger Nockerl and it's a sweet souffle. It's made out of egg yolk, flour, sugar and vanilla mixed into a thin dough. Then egg white is whisked until it's stiff and folded carefully into the dough. Afterwards, dumplings are formed and baked in an oven. Legend has it that this dish was invented by Salome Alt the mistress of Prince Archbishop from 1600s that lived in Mirabel Palace and its beautiful gardens that were built for her. Her Prince Archbishop was captured and imprisoned for life after a fierce dispute with his mighty neighbor Bavarian Duke. Salzburger Nockerl are supposed to represent three hillsides surrounding Salzburg and the dusting of powdered sugar resembled the snow on the peaks. Salzburg and Nockerl are always freshly prepared and served warm with powdered sugar and sometimes with raspberry sauce. If you want to avoid waiting for this dessert to be prepared, you have to order it about half an hour in advance. If you're not exactly starving, but you just need a quick bite, head over to Salzburg Schrane, an open market on a square right in front of St. Andrew's Church. Although this place turns into a proper market only every Thursday, you'll have no problems finding good snack options on any given day. Besides typical Salzburg dishes, almost every restaurant in Salzburg also offers typical Austrian dishes. If you haven't already, then you must try some typical Austrian dishes like Wiener Schnitzel, Frittatensuppe, soup with shredded grapes, and for dessert, apple strudel and famous sacher cake. If you like this video, give it thumbs up. If you have any questions, ideas, suggestions or even your own experience about Salzburg, please share it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way you'll be notified every time I post a new travel video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.